Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I figured it was time for a garden update because I haven't done one in two weeks. And we still have some stuff growing. It's, uh, what is the day? October 29th. And we are due for some high 30 weather in the middle of the night. That shouldn't bring us any frost this week, but it's getting close. So let's turn around and let's see what I still have growing. Or what Jackie and I still have growing. More her than me. But I do have a couple of things, but most of it is her. So let's see what we got. Okay, I'm over here at the uh, Bless Nana's house, which is our future uh, farmstead. So here you saw me plant carrots a couple of weeks ago, and they probably, a fourth of them have come up. As you said, as I've, as I've said before, I have never had luck with carrots, but this time I used a pelletized seed. So only about a fourth of them's come up, but... Honestly, the last week I have neglected watering them and all that because I was just so busy at work, plus I was sick. Uh, so hopefully watering them this week, uh, the rest of them might decide to come up. Here I have three containers of Detroit dark red beets uh, from Haas Tools. Uh, hopefully we can get them to grow. Uh, you see the leaves have fell off this pecan tree and... All the leaves are still on that one. That one there, they're about to fall off. And if you know, that's about the only color change you get in my neck of the woods. Because uh, pine trees don't, well, they, pine tree needles change colors. They go from green to rust. So you can see not many leaves on the ground yet. Those should be ready to shake in a couple of weeks. Which, you know, all that's on uh, Cousin Jim's schedule. You know, because him still farming, you know, cotton and peanuts and all that. So we have to do that whenever, whenever he can. Here's our fall leaf color change. And that is our muscadine grapes. As you can see, those have, turned, those have changed colors. That's about as far as our color change gets. <clears throat> of course, no more muscadine grapes. We picked those a few weeks back. Got my small Satsuma tree here, and there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, my Satsumas are not quite ready, but the Satsuma farms around here, theirs are being picked this week. Of course, you can see our orange tree. It's all green on this side, but that side is changing colors. And the oranges in our neck of the woods are only about a half a crop. You can see up here, there is a bunch of empty spaces for oranges. And the top of the tree hardly has any, which makes it easy to pick. But still, we've only got about half a crop. Now, the grapefruit tree, that thing is loaded every year. And honestly, I'd rather eat the grapefruits than I would the oranges. So I just love some grapefruit. So that's all here at Blessed Nana's. Let's get back to the house and see what we got growing there. Those opening clips you just saw were filmed on October 29th and today is October, uh, November 26th, I believe. Uh, 25th or 26th. And you can see not very many of my carrots have come up. I just cannot grow a carrot for some reason. Uh, we've had one light frost, but, but they were covered and I've got to get them covered again. Uh, now the beets are fairly decent. They're pretty good in this pot. That one there's not so much. This one here, fairly good. So we'll see how the beets do. But I showed you the pecan trees. So obviously you can see we're back at the blessed nanas which is our future homestead farmstead and you can see all the leaves are the majority of the leaves are now off the pecan trees and uh half the nuts are on the ground half are still in the trees so hopefully we get them shook soon and get those picked up and sold but uh the grapefruits have started falling off the tree now we haven't been here in a week so and Nana hadn't said anything about them falling off, so we have got to get some grapefruits picked. 
uh, as I said, the orange tree didn't have very many oranges on it this year. But there's a few of those ready to pick. And I think that previous clip of my Satsuma tree, I think it only had one turning orange, but you can see they're all turned orange. So, I'm not sure if I want to pick those yet or not, but we'll see. So, let us get to uh, doing some picking right here. Well, I sure get my dates mixed up. That clip you just saw was filmed on November 25th, and today is the 26th. And you can tell it is a rainy, cloudy, and actually a cold day because of the rain. Temperature-wise, it's not cold, but with the rain, it is. So here we're back at the house, and here Jackie's got some elephant garlic uh, growing there. We still have one cucumber plant, but I think it has given up the ghost. Uh, hadn't been anything on it in a couple days, so we just need to go ahead and take it down. She's got some different lettuces and stuff there. More garlic there. Still got some bell peppers, mini bell peppers, some different lettuces growing there. One tomato bush. Uh... Gosh, I don't remember if she told me that was English peas or snow peas, but it's one of them kind of peas. Got some sweet potatoes there. <clears throat> and I sure hope they get ready because we are in for three nights of freezing temperature this coming week. Uh, I think it's Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is going to be in the low 30s for us. So hopefully the sweet potatoes will be ready. And then over here, we still have a few mini bell peppers and a couple of jalapenos and some lettuce there. And some, uh, gosh, what is that, mustard? I don't remember what that is. Mm, I don't need it anyway, so that's why I don't know what it is. But we're going to be moving the peppers inside. We're going to try to overwinter those. So let's get out of the rain, let's get inside, and let's look at the grapefruit and the oranges that we picked yesterday. Okay, here's the grapefruit we picked. Uh, I don't know what size container that is, but that thing's all I want to do to tote it. So it's, it's pretty heavy. And then in here is the oranges. And just to give you a size, that is the orange in my hand. Uh, I mean, obviously here's an orange in my hand too, but that's more the store-bought size compared to that. And if you ask why I still have these on here, we cut all these with clippers. And the reason I like to leave them on there is where it doesn't dry out. Uh, that one fell, so the, the piece broke out, so this is one need to eat first because we don't want it to, to dry out, so... We picked more oranges than that, but left them with uh, left some with blessed Nana. So that's what we got. So I need to get to peeling some grapefruit, and I'll bring you back later. All right. So you saw all those grapefruit in that Tupperware container, and this is 20 grapefruit that's in one, two, three, four, five, six, one-gallon bags, and then a piece of a bag here. So that's just 20 grapefruit. Uh, that will last me three or four months, because I eat it in binges. I don't, you know, it's one of those, I eat so much of it, then I get tired of it and don't eat it for three or four months, and then I'll go back to eating again. But I'm gonna have a lot of grapefruit. Uh, plus, I'm gonna take some to work to give away, and we usually give some to our local food pantry, so. What do you do with your grapefruit, if you have grapefruit? Do you even eat grapefruit? I'm a weirdo. That's one of my favorites. But it is what it is. Jackie's laughing behind me when I said I'm a weirdo. So anyways, y'all take care and God bless.